Okay, so this video is the longer explanation of my book because the short one is, well, too short. So, hi, I'm Eka Hugh, and I've been technically writing since I was 10, if private fanfictions count. If not, then I began to officially pursue writing when I was 15. I've begun writing my book, The Kusai Kama Meets the Makawita, or TKMM for short, uh, last year. But before that, not a soul knew I wrote stories. I kept this a secret for the longest time because my stories were personal and I wouldn't want anyone to suddenly ask what I can write. However, this story in particular is something I want to proudly show to anyone. In all honesty, my prominent goal throughout my whole life was to be remembered by something. Um, so be it animation like I did years ago, or through something else, I quit animation because it's clear it's not for me and I'm never going to be known for that. However, I do would like to be known as a storyteller, a writer of sorts. If I die, I would like people other than my family, of course, to remember me for at least something great, so with this book, I'm taking a leap of faith. Anyway, now to my book. My story is about, like I said in the short, a Japanese ninja and an Aztec warrior meeting each other. Um, it is fictional, historical fantasy story. There are some historically a accurate aspects, as I've done a lot of research, but the premise itself is very fantasy-like. I mean, do you know how far and different feudal Japan and Aztecs are? The story revolves around our two protagonists, the ninja character named Yugen, trying to escape from the Aztecs, while the jaguar warrior named Kwaiwitu, trying to capture and bring him back to civilization in order to study and examine him more, because, well, what can you do in his, in his place, you know? Like, Yugen looks like a shadow with his uniform and everything. And um, aside from being historical fiction, fantasy story, it's a, the, it's a story of adventure, survival, and action. It's full of emotional challenges and disconnection, and trauma, and unexpected camaraderie. My plan for this story is to become a hardbound book someday. Something for my parents to proudly keep in the living room knowing they didn't raise a failure. And even if it's just one hardbound copy, I'm willing to do everything to finish it and make that happen. Mark my words. Also, just to challenge myself and to continue being friends with my polyglot buddy, my goal is to be fluent enough in Japanese and Spanish to be able to translate the Kusarigama Mitsuma Koetel in two languages, a nod to Yugen and Koahiwitel's each country's current language since Yugen is Japanese, Koahiwitel is Mexican, colonized by Spanish, so now in, it's not Nahuatl anymore, it's Spanish in Mexico, Mexico's language. Anyway, I'm starting with Japanese first as it's more prevalent in my life at the moment, so yeah, wish me luck on that. <laughs> okay, bud, I still have this one big question. Why this? Like, why couldn't you have made a romance novel instead? Why does it have to be this bizarre? <laughs> why does anyone do anything? Sheer, absolute boredom! Okay, fair. But what or who were your inspiration? And how did this all start? Um, okay, uh, this might seem really weird. Because, well, it all started with this little fanfiction that I was writing. Now, I won't say what fandom because you'll definitely think I'm a really weird person. Um, but what I can tell you is that the funniest part of it is that the fandom itself doesn't usually engage any Aztec or meaningful Japanese topic. So, goodness knows how I got that, but let me tell you, it's not in the fandom alone. Um, in a nutshell, my fanfiction was my fictional original country with a crossover medieval warrior culture and history. So it just so happens that the Aztecs and the Japanese were the first two cultures I studied. What? Person? Okay, well, one last question. 
if I may so. You've told us great things so far, but the question still lies as to why we should read your book. Here are some factors of my stories that might interest you. Since it's a cultural crossover, you get to read two different perspectives as to how one perceives the other and the things new to them because there's no similarity like our era for them where everything is shared at this point there's only the unknown and that's what makes it exciting hey uh, not to mention cultural and historical and cultural details now i paid attention and researched many subjects regarding the aesthetics in feudal japan and i am confident i acquired enough knowledge I mean, of course, I'm not claiming to be perfect, and I definitely expect some inaccuracy, but that is where good people like you come. If you're Mexican or Japanese descent or a history buff uh, regarding the topic of Aztecs or Japan, I'd love to hear your thoughts and insights to make my book even better. I can also promise you action scenes if you're into reading physical battles. Especially this is between an Aztec warrior holding a makuito and a ninja wielding a kusarigama. Then you've come to the right place. Yeah, I think that's all I can answer today. I hope this video was satisfactory. Though, no fret. As long as you good people stay tuned for more, I'll post more videos that will have me answer questions. All you have to do is drop your questions in the comments and I'm sure I'll read them. In addition, from hence moment on, my channel will mostly dedicate on, on this book of mine because there's nothing else to do anyway in my channel. Everything's dead there. Um, aside from aside Q and A, I will post teasers, character descriptions, my writing processes, some sillies here and there, and maybe some history facts if you'd like. Now, if I fully caught your interest, then feel free to download the preview of the Kusari Gama meets the Makoito in the description. Thoughts about it, really. Um, also, please do take note that I'm really busy in real life because. I've honestly lost a lot of sanity, sanity recently, and I need to gain them back. And I'm also helping one of my friends with their own story, and not to mention my studies. At least one video every one to two weeks, but please be patient with me if it ever goes beyond one or two weeks, okay? Thank you for understanding, and I hope to see you again soon. Till then, have a good one, folks.